Something that people get confused with sometimes is mixing up chaining with multiple parameters in a filter. So in this example, we're going to be looking at a single filter that has multiple parameters that teach you how to use that kind of syntax. This video is brought to you by FFMPEG. For beginners, you can check out the link in the show notes for that book on Amazon. Let's get into it. So let's say we have a video file and we want to add two seconds at the end of it of just silence, right? So this is going to be an audio filter that's applied to a video um, that will just give us that two seconds at the end. So first let's import our audio file, our video file. So it's going to be import.mp4. We're going to use filter complex. Now we're going to use a pad, um, which allows us to add this padding towards the end. So we're going to do packet. Uh, so these are, this is first, the first variable of a pad. So it's going to have a packet size, right? And so packet size equals uh, 4, 40, uh, 60, 96, yeah. And then we're going to do pad duration. So the full filter is a pad equals packet size equals the size of the packet, and then pad duration of two seconds. Let's open up that video file and let's check out the last two seconds. So the beginning's the same. And let's go down to maybe 15 seconds, 14 seconds, yeah. And now you can see that the frame stops and we have two seconds of complete silence. Let's play that again. Not bad. Now that we've seen the filter work, let's actually dissect the syntax. So the first thing we have is the filter name. In our example, we have a pad. Then we have equals packet size. That is our first parameter, which then equals a parameter variable. Then we have colon and then a new variable. In our case, we have pad duration. So it's a filter equals filter parameter variable equals variable colon new variable equals variable colon. You just keep on extending it, right? That's how this pretty much works. And that's how you can chain multiple filters. The FFMPEG syntax, you can actually find all of these different variables inside their documentation. Uh, for each specific filter. So some filters have a lot of them, uh, some only have one or two, but you'll have to find that for the specific filter that you want to use. I hope that clears it up and makes things a little more simpler. So that's it for the video. If you found it beneficial, I do want to recommend two books that I've written. You can find these up on Amazon. First one, FFMPEG for Beginners, full color book, over 100 questions answered about how to use it for audio, video, and everything in between, as well as this quick guide that's just full of scripts uh, super cheap. I'll put a link to these in the show notes. Thanks for checking out the video. Cheers.